Hi, thank you so much for joining our channel. And now, with the second video of today, we're going to study a very interesting, interesting concept that goes beyond the geometry and the, of the contact and the geometry of the sword. At this time, we're going to, to use a particular characteristic of my or distance, but in this time, instead of uh, displacement, we're going to use the extension of our body using the sword as a, a strategy to, to reach a particular position of our enemy. In this case, we're going to study Ojobu Sumi. Ojobu com comes from extension to, to reach, to, to strengthen, and uh, Sumi comes from to reach to an end, to, to, to finalize. Uh, in this case, we're, uh, we can translate that, that we're going to use our full extension of our body and the sword to obtain a particular uh, reaction of the opponent and in that way we can perform a very uh, precise cut to finish the, the conflict. This technique was used by, by the Sishisen when they really want to finish the conflict really fast, when the enemy was uh, uh, really strong, that uh, was really skilled, and then we need to, to have no doubt about what we're going to do. Uh, we really need to, to reach an, a fast end of the conflict because the enemy has the, a, lot, uh, a lot of knowledge and we know that we need to finish that really fast. So in this case, as we're using an, our strategy, we're going to, to use the Heiho concept. So we're studying a strategy to, to put our enemy in a particular position so we can uh, defeat him. Uh, there are two uh, particular ways to use this concept. The first one is to, to reach uh, or to, to get so, uh, so, so much extension that uh, we're going to force a particular defense of the opponent. And the other one is that using not only the extension but also the angle again against the sagittal plane, that the sagittal plane is not controlled anymore and then we can overcome the enemy using a particular diagonal against the sword. Okay, now to explain that particular concept, we are having here Sir Ruiz. Thank you so much. I see you. You're welcome. And we're going to just have a quick chat about the very interesting concept that we have been studying with Sir Jordan today. So, the first thing that uh, this is a technique that uh, has to be applied when we're not joking about to overcome the enemy. So it's really important. It's not, it's not a matter of to deceive and try to make an angle and then try to make a position. It has to be done really fast. So, in this case, Sukushoshi Dosh. For, for example, we're going to use a particular kamae. It's called En no kamae. En comes from real extension, or strength. So, in this case, Shushri uh, is in Shudang no kamae, but I'm going to use En no kamae. In this case, I'm going to have a really really long position and then if I'm going to, towards him as I have a, a kind at least a shaku so about a feet a foot uh, of uh, advantage I'm going to attack him and then he, I, I, he will have some reaction and when he has that then I can come for example or we can go to any other target I have really full extension and then I can go here and then go up. So, this is something that has to be really fast. We are not actually starting from this position. We are starting for a, a wider range. And I come here, come here, attack him, and then go. For example, I'm, I'm producing, I'm attacking him using this length, and then I will produce that reaction, and then I can come, I can come, I can come. So the thing is, try to avoid that. So, that's the first thing. Uh, if, if you can look at our parallel lines, you will see both sagittal planes are completely aligned. And then, when I make the rupture of the symmetry, then I will go there. So even when I make the disruption of the symmetry using my arms, our haras are still connected. Then, he opened his sagittal plane, and then I will try to control it again, to control the center. So, that's a really interesting concept, to control the center. The other one, which is really, really, really interesting, instead of 
using parallel lines, I will go, but then even when sustaining the same line, I'm going in that position. So then I can cut him. It's instead of only doing that, I can now come here. So in this case, even when I'm using the the sorry, the curvature, so I'm exerting higher amount of force that that he can do well. If we're in the same position, it equal strength, using the convex plane, I can make a lot of strength because all the force lines are going to concentrate that. So if I go that way and then I move in this direction, then I can come and attack. And for example, if I go here, you will say, okay, but you can actually, uh, he can actually cut you. But the idea is to, again, put him in the position to make a reaction. So remember, we have two concepts here. The first one is to produce using the extension because I'm having an advantage. So he will try to defend and I can cut and then I can use the, the sagittal plane or instead of that I can go here then I can come and use a, a diagonal line using the concave thing so I can have a more strength here. And also if even has a lot of strength he can sustain my attack he will try to attack me and then I can use displacement to avoid that. So this is a high hole, this is a strategy. We are trying to put our enemy in the position that he thinks that he can actually attack us. So putting some targets, some decoys, so we can use geometry, distance, and, ge and, and, the, and the sword geometry to exert uh, uh, a faster response, to exert more power, or to exert a particular position that we can avoid his attack, but we can reach our attack. Thank you very much, Carlos. Thank you so much. Great explanation. Thank you so much. And we hope that you enjoy this and this can be helpful for your study. Thank you so much.